Grade 4 math, number 20. This is also 2.8 in your Go Math textbooks. We're going to multiply using mental math, and I want to say a shout out to Lorenzo and thank him. In my old version of this video that I made back in March of 2016, I had a math mistake, and he pointed it out to me. So now this is a corrected video. So to multiply using mental math, we can use the properties of multiplication. They can make multiplying easier. The commutative property of multiplication says that we can multiply factors in any order and get the same product. So if we have 2 times 3, that's going to equal 6, but we can also do 3 times 2 and get 6 and have the 3 first. See? So if we have a problem like 6 times 5 times 20, what we can do is do it in the other direction. We can go in this direction and do 20 times 5, which is 100. Then we can multiply it by 6 and get 600. We do the 20 times 5 first, we get our product 100, and then we multiply it by 6 and we get 600. And it's easier to multiply the 20 times 5 first to get to the 100 because 5 and 20 are friendly numbers. Now, we can also use the associative property of multiplication. It says that we can group factors in different ways and get the same product. We can multiply 2 times 3 and get a 6, and then multiply it by 4 to get 24. Or we can multiply the 3 and the 4 together first and get a 12, and then multiply it by 2 and get 24. Either way, we're getting the same answer. So if we have 6 times 4 times 25, with the associative property, we can multiply the 4 times 25 first because it's easier. We'll get 100. Then we can multiply that by 6 and get 600. And it's easier to multiply that 4 times 25 and then multiply it by the 6. 4 and 25 are friendly numbers. We can also use the distributive property of multiplication. If we have 2 times 8, we can break it into 2 times 5 plus 3. See? 8 breaks into 5 plus 3. See? And that is 2 times 5 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 3 is 6, so that's 16. See? The distributive property helped us. So that would be using it for addition. If we had 4 times 625, we could break that 625 into a 600 and a 25. Well, 4 times 25 is like 4 quarters and a dollar. That's 100. And 4 times 600 is like 4 times 6 with two zeros at the end. So that's 2,400. We add the 2,400 to the 100, and we get 2,500. See? So we broke it apart into a 600 and a 25 for our 625. And we think of the distributive property like a mother bird feeding her babies in a parentheses nest. Each one gets their turn. See? We don't skip anybody. Nobody wants to starve. And we multiply it by each one with that addition sign in between them. See? We can also do this with subtraction using distributive property. If you've got a problem like 3 times 398, we think of the 398 as 2 less than 400. Okay? So we do 3 times 400, which is 1,200, and then we just take away a 3 times 2. We take away a 6. That's 1,194. We can do that in our head. So 3 times 398 means 398 three times. That's 398 plus 398 plus 398. So that would be 400 minus 2 plus 400 minus 2 plus 400 minus 2. That would be 1,200 minus 6. See how we did that? We can also do what's called halving and doubling. So if you have 14 times 40, think of 14 to be cut in half to 7. We have a 7 and a 7. So we could do 7 times 40 plus 7 times 40. 7 times 4 is 28. So 7 times 40 has a 0 added on the end to a 7 times 4. That's 280. All we have to do is 280 plus 280 then. And we could do that in our head. When we're adding with mental math, we add the larger place value first. So instead of starting with the ones, we start with the hundreds. And we add 200 plus 200. And that's 400. Then we add the 80 plus 80, which is 160. And we add the 400 to the 160 and get 560. Okay? That's mental math for uh, larger place values. So we know that 14 times 40 is 560. See how we did that? That's having and doubling. So I hope this was helpful. And again, thank you, Lorenzo, for pointing out my math mistake. And I really appreciate it. If you don't make mistakes, you'll probably never make anything. I actually even have a sign that says it right there. If you don't make mistakes, you probably won't make anything. So I'll see you next video. And I hope this was helpful. And try doing mental math, OK? I'll see you next video. Bye.